do is just get the arcade, which is 100% free. Indeed. Uh. <laughs> Shameless Starbo Pug plug. <laughs> All right. Oh, I love this map. This map is so sexy. Oh my god. Okay. So we got our blue Terran player. I mean, pink Terran player. Lilac. Sorry, Lilac. We just have to it's Lilac. We have the Lilac Terran spawning in the six o'clock position. He's awesome. He is Fredscar. No dubstep today. When you said blue, oh, I just... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. When there you said go. blue, I like jumped over to Starbo because he's blue, and then you said Lilac. Like, ah, jumping back again. <laughs> so, oh, my bad. Oh, no problem. The top, <laughs> in the in the left part of the map, it's so I, you, I'm so used to say top and bottom, right and left, and it's not those positions on this map. It's so odd. But on the left side of the map, spawning as the blue Zerg player, it is KSW. The winner, like I said, of this game, gets some moolah, gets some green, and the loser doesn't get anything except for <laughs> a lot of Starbo glory. Um, five points. <laughs> five points. He gets five points. Five arbitrary points. So <clears throat> is gonna play Terran. Like this guy plays all the races, man. Yeah, he's crazy. He is. But I don't know I if he can. I played TBT with him one time and he beat me. That was a little fortunate. I don't know if he can off race like that versus KSW. Like that's gonna be so hard to do. Mhm. Mm oh, it's gonna be so hard. Oh, he went. Re he, I think he went gas first. It was really early, yes, at least. Yeah, I think he realizes how OP. I mean, I mean, how awesome Re Reapers are. So he's gonna go Reapers, maybe. Well, they were just nerfed, though. I don't know if you can make it work with Reapers. It, this is a good map for Reapers, though. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of places of you can jump in here. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So I guess he could try that. It's just, I'm really curious what Francis has got up his sleeve. He's he's definitely got something up his sleeve. He's definitely has something he wants to try. And he's yeah. gonna throw down a factory, and I think his opponent's gonna s no. He's not gonna see it. He's just outside of range. Man, Franskar knows exactly where to put that building so his opponent can't see it. So he's gonna go for a really early factory. Maybe there's gonna be some sort of 1-1-1, like some sort of like Wiltshire drop, Wiltshire into Banshee, something like. Or he could just be standard mech play, like one factory expand, but that's so rare versus Zerg though. Yeah. Maybe he's gonna do like a classic. No, I don't think so. Well, he stopped marine production. opponent has a lot of minerals, he's gonna go for another hatchery, I think. Or just a ton of queens. Once this, yeah, probably just two queens. Yeah, there we go. Or one. Oh, and also, that that space behind the natural base isn't siegeable, is it? I mean, you can't drop there, can you? No, uh, it's kind of interesting. All the all the cliffs that have uh, orange markings, you can't drop on. And all the blue, you can. Okay, that's why I thought. So, so, yeah, so the map is kind of telling you, like, yeah, which high ground is, is droppable or not. Oh... Oh, oh, oh. Proxy starport. Proxy starport. Okay. So it's gonna be Banshees, it's gonna be Vulture Banshee, or maybe Vulture Oh, Proxy. is he doing a two port? Oh, he's doing two port. Oh, Where's man, he's going. Second? Where's the second port? Oh, 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 oh. Wow, two port you Banshee. Fastcar did say he was tired, so. Hmm. Yeah. This is a best of three, though, so he's gonna have to, like, actually get this. He's gonna, he's gonna get this to work two games in a row. Or, like, maybe not this, but he's gonna. Like, he might be able to, to win with this strat now, but he's not yeah. going to be able to win with it once another time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not... Yeah. He's going to have to think of a more technical and interesting cheese, or just win up. I think he's going to have to win one game with just a straight-up fight, and that's going to be difficult playing a race that he's he's not used to. And he's, he's chosen Terran now, so he has to stick with Terran for the whole best of threes. He can't just suddenly switch now. Oh, okay. And KSW did actually get a scouted into the main base of um, the France Guard, so he might be able to sniff something up. But I guess we'll have to see. So we do have Banshee range being produced. Oh, Banshees with Banshee range is actually really strong versus Zerg. Yeah. This is, this is being underestimated a little bit, but even masses of Hydras are having a really hard time holding it off. You, you basically mm -hmm. need Uh That's the only thing that really deals with this effectively. Yeah, they're just completed, so the question is whether or not he's going to go for the Spire. Oh, oh he scouted it! He knows about it! Oh. Oh, that's huge! Oh, he was going to expand there! Match. He was gonna oh, well, that's that. awkward! Oh, wow. Two it's, ports. Just, it's just like Banshee versus Franscar yesterday. Uh, Franscar versus <laughs> Beastie Cutie, I mean, Banscar. Yes. It m mixed between Banshees and Franscar. Why yeah. does he enrage that queen? It's gonna die anyway. There we go. It's a peaceful queen. He got one hit off. Evolution Chamber is being produced. Yeah. We do have an Otis here. And Spire is on the way, that's really important. Another Swarm Queen is gonna go down. Oh, but that one queen doesn't have enough energy for enrage. 
Oh, but it is gonna use the last energy to nurture out that spire, which is a good use of its energy. Is it still okay? Mm -hmm. We've got two banshees in now. In the meantime, no, he can't really counterattack this. Well, Fresco doesn't really have much defense, but he has a wall. But he can try and kill the star Starports with Zerglings. I guess that's something. Yeah. Okay, that one. Okay, those spy cards. Those, yeah, those spy cards are going down here. Spy pool going down. I'm not really sure that's a good use of his banshees right now. I think he should be targeting more important things. Yeah. Um, spire is complete. Queen is up. Enrage is used. Here More sport is Enrage is really bad versus air units, by the way. It's much stronger versus ground units. But the sport crawler is up. Yeah. And it's gonna have to be careful. But he could, he could effectively kill his main base. Oh. Otherwise. So we're gonna be sniping off tech lab. Vikings being produced too. Oh wow, interesting. Oh, of course, of course. There's mutalists. He's just gonna make Vikings to deal with the mutalists. But yeah. I, don't, I don't know if just pure Viking can do it. He might need to have support with them. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get the spawning pool. He's definitely gonna get this. No, he's not choosing not to get the spawning pool. Here's well, two Vikings versus one mutus. I know what wins that. Um, I've tried. I've tried. To, I, I've actually done a similar build like this before, and it actually lost really, really badly to split mutalists. Yeah. So good micro can really take out this build. Yeah. I, 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 I can understand that completely. And especially a couple of Scourges would be really useful. Oh, he's gonna get the yeah. support color. Well done. So, definitely paying off for itself. Franskar is ahead in the food count 43 to 25. 23 harvesters compared to 16. Well, 22 now. But where. Oh, whoa, the Mutalisk! Opting to go for the main base instead, taking out oh. a bunch of SCVs. Wow, he's They have sense workers. Oh man, he's got to bring those Vikings back home. But meanwhile, these these Banshees. Yeah, the Mutalists are going to wreak some havoc in the base of Franskar. He needs to bring the Vikings home, like you said. Uh, and he's going to get the Spore Crawler, but he's got to be so careful with this Banshee. He's going to lose them yeah. to Mutalisk? No. He can call on some SCVs and repair them. Yeah, he definitely could. I, I really hope he does that. But he is kind of short on money because he did take a lot of damage from those Mutalists. Two Vikings are out. Close to those banshees. Starbo's little drone that was there at the third base decided not to uh, be turn become a hatchery. If you look at the income tab, it's only 13 harvests left for for uh, KSW, so he has yeah. been taking some losses from this. Oh, nah. Scorgy! Scorgy! That's, that's the micro we were talking oh! about that Misty Cutie didn't it's do, but it's not oh! enough! Not enough. Not enough. Three and Vikings. They're coming home and they should be able to deal with this with good micro. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, but the bat. Oh, the starport goes down. That's actually quite important. Oh, here comes Scourge. Oh, but he clumped up. He clumped up. He's gonna need to micro. There we go. Another great micro shot. Oh, that's so painful. Oh, he does oh, deal oh. a lot of damage, but it doesn't really kill them off. It's a very even trader, actually. Yeah, quite oh, even. Oh, wow. The <laughs> Viking yeah, turned around now to fight. But, like. Seriously, this is actually quite a close game. Like both of the players are stabilizing on a similar economy. Although <sighs> Prasker doesn't have anything. Like he has nothing. Yeah. He what's has... his minutes all around? Oh, the batches are still alive. Oh wow. What's... Also, this map is diagonal, so you can't like you can't move in here. This this is the, the orange is air blocking. Oh, he's got to be so careful. There's so oh oh so luckily for oh, Prasker, it was so actually. Lucky. Targeting that, yeah, high HP Banshee, uh, two almost dead ones. But here comes so many Mutalists, I don't know if Fransker can deal with this. He can at least get a Marine to put in that bunker. Oh, he's gotta repair that Viking. Please repair that Viking, yes. Oh, he could've killed Banshees, but he didn't see them. <laughs> yeah, I think Fransker might be able to stay alive for at least a bit. Uh, he's, he's ahead in workers on his opponent. His income, his income is actually higher. No, it isn't because well, he was he's got his workers pulled off. He's got an orbital, a uh, natural that he's not using at all. Uh oh, Mutalisk deserving that he wants to die. Poor yeah, little bat. That was a suicidal Mutalisk. Good question in chat. Why would he proxy this? Like it would almost be as close from his face, but he didn't know though where his. Well, he did know where his opponent was when he proxied it, so that's actually a good question. I guess he didn't want it to be scouted. Yeah. I mean, it definitely is. It is. It definitely is closer to the main base. Oh, it That's doesn't want to move the banshees in there whatsoever. The banshees has nothing to do there. Nothing. They just want to uh -oh. stay. Far oh away. no! They're gonna the Viking. No, Viking! The oh! sacri the sacri Viking. Uh, will these glass the be enough? I don't think so. Four Mutalis versus. Should two. at least be repairing them. Please repair. Repair oh, the Viking. There we repair go. The oh, the banshees getting sniped down. No! Oh, that hurts. It does Franskar is? Slipping a little bit, I feel, in the game in, in general. 
I guess he's getting tired. He just played a best of uh, three versus. Uh, oh, he's he's been playing a lot today. He played. Uh, who did he play versus again? He played versus uh, Dirty Bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He played versus Dirty Bag, and then before that, he had to play versus Buckfast. Yeah, that's right. So, um, Buckfast, the Protoss player who almost made it into the top four. Mm -hmm. uh Oh, middle is getting more pickoffs. Goliaths walking with their little chunky. Oh wait, Goliaths are smaller now, right? Yeah, they are. Okay, good. That was that was actually very needed. Yeah, they were getting really like stuck. Funky. Everywhere. Yeah. They're fat. They needed a European facelift. Tummy tuck. Oh no! Goliath trying to get back home. Trying to suck down these videos, but that's quite a few mutas. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, wow. Yes. Okay, those Goliaths definitely yeah. did way more oh, damage. Oh, he doesn't even have Charon boosters. I was sure he had that. So yeah, it really looks like he did. Off without range. Oh no! Look, look at this range. Okay, that's a lot of mutas. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's five, definitely gonna take out the Goliaths. Five range compared to eight. That's actually really important. Wow, that's so many mutas there. Yeah. He needs he needs Vikings, but he doesn't have Starports right now. Yeah. And the problem with trading, even if you trade if like like equal costs of Goliaths versus Mitas, still not that great because Mitas can be produced a lot faster. Yeah, GG. Like you can, you can produce some yeah way more 